The whole family of God, most high and most true, has a consolation of its own, a consolation which cannot deceive, and which has in it a surer hope than the tottering and falling affairs of earth can afford. They will not refuse the discipline of this temporal life, in which they are schooled for life eternal, nor will they lament their experience of it, for the good things of earth they use as pilgrims who are not detained by them, and its ills either prove or improve them. As for those who insult over them in their trials, and when ills befall them say, where is your God? We may ask them where their gods are when they suffer the very calamities for the sake of avoiding which they worship their gods, or maintain they ought to be worshipped, for the family of Christ is furnished with its reply. Our God is everywhere present, holy everywhere, not confined to any place. He can be present unperceived, and be absent without moving, when he exposes us to adversities, it is either to prove our perfections or correct our imperfections, and in return for our patient endurance of the sufferings of time, he reserves for us an everlasting reward. But who are you, that we should deign to speak with you even about your own gods, much less about our God, who is to be feared above all gods? For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens.